Commander, on your victory over your enemies and the enemies of the believers. All of Iraq is talking about Allah supporting the Khilafah at your hands and the defeat of Ibn al Ashath and his followers. Those who were misled found out who they are and who Hajjaj is. Ibn al Ashath thought that with scholars like Sa'id ibn Jubair joining him, he could win the battle. Surely the sword of Hajjaj does not break and the soldiers of Ibn Marwan cannot be defeated. This was proven at the Battle of Jamajim. Those rebellious ones did not consider. What happened to Ibn Zubair at the hands of Hajjaj? And what about the prisoners of war and the scholars who still oppose you, O Commander? I am waiting for a letter from Amir Mu'minin for them. The letter, Commander. Assalamu alaikum. Everyone who participated in Jamajim with Ibn al Ash'ath shall be put to the sword, unless he recognizes his kuf. If he insists he is a believer, chop off his head. Call the head of police. I'm here, Commander. Bring the prisoners after you've read this to them. As you wish. You? Every rebellion we see you. Yesterday with Ibn al-Zubayr, today with Ibn al-Ash'ath. If a rebellion were to take place far away, you'd be part of it. What have you gained, O deluded hypocrite? Except the humiliation and defeat of disgrace. By Allah, the possessor of truth cannot be disgraced even if the entire world were to plot against him. There is no honor for the possessor of falsehood even if the moon were to rise from his forehead. May Allah kill me if I don't kill you. But I was given an oath by your servant. When you keep your oath with Allah, we will keep ours. Are you trying to deceive me, Hajjaj? You are the one who breaks the oath with Allah. What made you oppose us this time? The same as before, and the same that will make me oppose you again. You want a kingdom? We want a khilafah. You want Persian or Byzantine? We want the Quran and Sunnah. You will teach me Islam? Isn't it obvious that spilling the blood and seizing the wealth of the Muslims is a grave evil? We will punish corrupt rebels like you. Assuming that I am a rebel, are you dealing with us as rebels should be dealt with within the law of Allah? The leaders of the rebels aren't pursued, their prisoners aren't killed, their wounded aren't finished off, and their wealth is not seized. You are not a mere rebel, you are a kafir. You have disbelieved because you went against the mere mu'mineen. We went out against the oppression and tyranny after our patience was exhausted. Ibn al-Ashath did not go out on his own. Rather, the people of Iraq came out with him on the forefront of whom were the leaders, the scholars of Iraq. So are those scholars now disbelievers and hypocrites? Are you making fun of me? We'll put you with your leader, the crazy slander Ibn al-Ashath. Chop off his head! You will not die by being killed, Hajjaj. Wait, why? I heard righteous people like Hassan al Basri and Sa'id ibn Jubair make dua that you not die except disgraceful in your bed. Did they really say this? Yes, so that Allah postpones your punishment to the hereafter and it is more severe and more disgraceful. Chop off his head! Who is left from the heretics? Three scholars Amr Shabi, Mutarf ibn Abdullah, Sa'id ibn Jubair. As per Sa'id ibn Jubair, he's escaped and we can't find him. 
You're incapable fool. With all your forces, you cannot find him? Sa'id ibn Jubair will not escape me. I'm Hajjaj, the son of Yusuf. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salama ala Rasulullah. My dear children, this dunya, this life that we live in, is so small in the sight of Allah, it does not weigh the wing of a mosquito. So insignificant, in fact, that this is the only place we know where disobedience is allowed. And you must know that the disbelievers love this life, and they are becoming proud and arrogant as the believers and the friends of Allah are driven away and oppressed. Do not let your dunya distract you from your hereafter. Allah gives the dunya to those He loves and to those He does not love. But He only gives the deen, this religion, to those that He loves. But there is no religion without knowledge. And there is no knowledge without action. And there is no action without sincerity. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make you treasures for me after me. To make you of those who are guided and on the right path. And struggle and stay in this truth until you meet Allah. Shaykh, it is as though you are giving a farewell address. By Allah who knows. Perhaps this is our last meet in this fading world. May Allah preserve you and continue to benefit others. You all know that this man is searching for me in every place. And I do not see it except that this will lead to my capture. And I do not see it except that my capture will lead to my death. Death is the end of every living thing. He who does not die by the sword will die by something else. O oh Allah, I ask you to make us of those who are patient and who die as Muslims. One day, I was with two of my companions. And we began to pray such that we felt the sweetness in our dua. We all prayed to die shaheed that day. My two companions have already had their dua answered. As for me, I am still waiting for mine. Will truth remain with its wings broken? When the propagators are killed and the helpers are tortured, are we now on truth and they on falsehood? Omir, are you in doubt about that? By Allah, if they cut us in pieces and feed us to the sharks, we are on truth and they are on falsehood. Then how is it that they are winning and we are losing? We are truly losing the day that we doubt the truth we are inviting others to, and do believe the falsehood that they are upon. Stay where you are. I know one of you is Sayyid ibn Jabir. Which one of you is Sayyid? I am. What all of you are Sayyid? There's only one Sayyid here. Show me which one. I am Sayyid. No, I am Sayyid. No, don't believe them. I am Sayyid. You swear by Allah you're Sayyid ibn Jubair? My son, I am Sayyid ibn Jubair, and these are my students. Do you really think that Sayyid ibn Jubair is a youth? I am 57 years old. How can anyone else here be Sayyid? O oh, student of knowledge, you say you're Sayyid ibn Jubair and you lied. I have not lied nor have I a man in honesty, for I am Sayyid, and that I am very happy. I am very happy to sacrifice my life for the jurist of Islam, Sayyid ibn Jubair. Why would you sacrifice your life for this man? For he is on the truth, and I would gladly die for the truth. I have not seen such a day of sacrifice like this. May Allah curse Hajjaj. I quit this job. And as for you, Shaykh, I advise you to leave this place. My students, I am proud of you. I cannot thank you enough, so I leave it to Allah. He is the rich and the praiseworthy. My children, those who gather for the dunya today will be separated because of it tomorrow. The only true bond is the bond of religion and piety. Make sure that your association is for Allah. I leave you all now to Allah. <laughs>